It's time for the Jojo and Joyce Club. With Jojo, Joyce, Wally, and me, Chippy. And also our club members. And now, here's the show. Mm. Oh, I really hope you like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Jerry. Well, yes, I do, but I haven't had one in a long time. Oh, well, good, because this is just the place to come. Do you know why? Why? Because I didn't have a stove that works. Oh, no, what happened to your stove? Well, I know, it just completely stopped working, and... I asked Professor Packard to come over and fix it, and he told me he would. But that's been three days ago. ago. Well, you know how Professor Pockets is. He's kind of forgetful at <laughs> I times. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. But if I don't get it fixed really soon, I'm going to go crazy eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches all the time. I know, they're Jojo's favorite. Yeah. Oh, that's you have a new plan. That is yeah. really pretty. I, I like that. it. Yeah, I'm glad you've noticed. I bought that the other day. I, I like the pot. I like the plant. I one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. It grows good, too. Mm -hmm. And I thought I could reuse the pot for other flowers when this one outgrows. So, yeah, well, that's a good idea. Uh, yeah, I thought so. And this one's roots get too big. And you can just move it, and I can reuse it. Good okay, idea. what? Let's take our sandwiches into the family room, turn on the television set, and I can call Professor and see if he's on his way. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. i take the tray here. Come on, Jojo, let's go to the family room. Ready? Okay. Hey, look out! Oh, no! Oh, my gosh, what are we gonna do? Oh, you were supposed to catch it, Wally. You threw it too high, Chippy. Uh-oh, here comes Joyce. Oh, boy, we're gonna get it. Uh, no, we're not. Just go along with anything I say. What in the world has happened? Oh, no, my new pup! Well, I just saw Butch running down the street. Yeah, yeah, I saw him too. Butch, huh? Yeah, he was running real fast and he kept looking back. Yeah, and he was wearing a baseball mitt. Well, I'm going to have to have a talk with him. Yeah, you better straighten him out, Joyce. Oh, boy. I, I just bought this pot. Oh, and this lovely plant. Oh, golly, what a mess. Well, you know, I'm not really that angry about the pot and the mess. I can clean that up, but... Well, it really upsets me that Butch ran off like that. Yeah, I would be too. Uh, well, Wally and I have to go. Bye, Joyce. Oh, Bye. Well, what happened? Oh, well, uh, my new pot, it looks as though I see a strange softball there. It said Butch ran away. And, well, I'm, I'm not really so upset that Butch did it and, and ran away, but... It, what I'm beginning to be concerned about is Chippy and Waffles. They were acting really strange like Oh, that doesn't sound like them. I don't know. Well, I finished my conversation with Professor Pocket. Oh, you did? Yeah, and he said he would be over later to fix it. Oh, good. Later when? Um, later sometime today. Oh, <laughs> later today. Oh, great. No more, more sandwiches. sandwiches. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chippy. Are you there, Chippy? Me, hey, I'm here. What's the matter, Wally? Well, Butch yelled at me today, Chippy. Hey, what did he do that for? Well, remember when we broke Joyce's pot and blamed it on Butch? Yeah, I remember. It was only a couple hours ago. And did Butch knock you on the head, too? Well, no, but anyway, he told me that Joyce came over and talked to his mom, and Joyce told her that Butch broke the pot. Boy, I bet he's mad. Oh, you're right, Chippy. He's really mad. His mom grounded him from the TV for a week. A whole week? Boy, that's rough. Well, he figured it out that it was you and me who blamed him for it, but his mom wouldn't believe him. Gee, Wally, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for anything to happen to you. Well, I think we should have told the truth to begin with. Well, if we did that, Joyce would have told our moms, and we would have gotten it just like Butch. I don't know about that. Joyce is a pretty fair person. I know, but still... We would have gotten punished anyway. Well, I didn't like getting yelled at very much, Chippy. Yeah, well, I'm really sorry about that, Wally. Well, that's okay. Goodbye. Yeah, see ya. Boy, I never meant for any of this to happen. Wally's my best friend. I didn't mean for him to get yelled at. Mm hmm. Hi, Chippy. 
Oh, hi, Jerry. What's been happening? Oh, nothing much. Nothing? You sound kind of down. Yeah, well, now can we talk? I mean, just kind of between you and me. Well, sure, you know I'm always available if you need to talk, Tippy. No, oh, good, because I just can't keep this to myself anymore. Oh, it sounds serious. What's the matter? Well, Joyce just bought a new plant. Uh-huh. And today it got knocked over and the pot broke. Right, I remember. I was there having lunch with her, but I was on the telephone, so I didn't actually get to see what happened. But she told me that Butch broke it? Well, that's just it. Butch didn't do it. Oh, if Butch didn't do it, then who broke the pot? Well, and Wally and I did. Oh, well, that's really strange, because I wonder why Joyce thought that Butch broke the pot then. Well, because I told her that Butch did it. You told her that you that Butch broke it? Yeah, well, sort of. What do you mean, sort of? It sounds like you lied to her, and a lie is a lie. There's no sort of about it, Chippy. Well, I didn't want Wally and me to get in trouble. Well, I understand that, but a lie won't solve anything. It's only going to make matters worse for you. Yeah, well, I didn't know it would lead to this. I know. You know, Chippy, you're my friend, but I don't like it when people lie. You know what? I think there's one thing you're going to have to do. And tell Joyce? Tell Joyce, that's right. I think you and Wally should both go over there and apologize to her. Yeah, but Wally didn't have anything to do with this. It was my whole idea to make up the lie. I know, but Wally is just as guilty because he went along with it. And I think Joyce deserves an apology from him, too. I guess you're right. I think so. I'll tell you what. I'll go over there to Joyce's kitchen and I'll wait for you. So if you come over with Wally in about 15 minutes, we can all explain this to Joyce together, okay? Yeah, something tells me I'm not going to like this. <laughs> well, it won't be easy, but I don't think it'll be that bad, okay? Yeah, okay? Okay, 15 minutes and you bring Wally, okay? Okay, yeah, I'll see you in 15 okay, minutes. Okay, see you there. Bye-bye. Jerry, get what? What? I don't know. Professor Pockets came over and he fixed the So great. No more sandwiches for you. <laughs> Not for a long oh. time, I hope. Good. Is uh, Wally and Chippy? They're not around? Uh, no, Wally and Chippy aren't here. Are they supposed to be? Yeah. They yeah. They're going to be here in a little bit then, I guess. Oh. Well, what's with all the things? <laughs> oh, nothing really. Oh, you'll Hello, find out when we get here. Oh. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Hello. Hi, Wally. Glad to see you two could make it. Wally, did Chippy explain everything to you? Yeah, he did, Jerry. Okay, good. Uh, does someone want to let me in on what's going on here? Well, Joyce, uh, Wally and I have a confession to make. A confession, Chippy? Yeah, to tell the truth, uh, Butch didn't break your pot. Wally and I did. Oh, I kind of suspected that, mm -hmm. but... Uh, why didn't you tell me the truth in the first place? Well, we didn't want to get into trouble. Uh, so you blamed Butch? Yeah, it seemed like a good way to stay out of trouble. Oh, but... Well, didn't you know that I wouldn't be angry because it was an accident? Well... Mm. Of course I'm not going to be angry if it's an accident. You didn't do it on purpose. Oh, dear. So now we have a problem because you went over and talked to Butch. <gasps> oh, Mom. that's right. I went to... You did, boys didn't notice, but... Oh, I forgot I had done that. <gasps> yeah, I went we to see Bush's mom. Oh, yeah, and we really didn't mean to knock the plan over. But besides, uh, don't blame Wally for this. It was my idea to make up a lie about it. Oh. Well, it's never good to make up a lie. In fact, I'm more angry about the fact that you had to tell me a lie than the fact that you broke my pot. Oh, dear. Chippy, you know, sometimes it's it's more important to tell the truth and you get into bigger trouble than you don't. Yeah. Well, yeah, I'm not really proud of what I did. Mm -hmm. I bet Butch is... Oh, dear. Poor Butch. <laughs> I told you not to have to do it right oh, now. Oh, dear. I bet he's really upset. Have you boys seen Butch? Mm. Wally did. Wally yeah, did? Yeah, he, he told me he didn't, he didn't like what I did. Oh, I bet he was angry. <laughs> well... I think there's only one thing to do. What's that, Joyce? I think you should go over and apologize to Butch for uh, making up a story and getting him involved in something he wasn't even involved with the first well, time. Well, okay. It's getting kind of late. Maybe we can do it tomorrow. 
I don't think so. No, Wally. Wally. I'd like for you to do it right now. In fact, if you do it right now and you apologize and make everything okay, I will make you some of my special peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. finally get rid of that. Oh, okay. Jay. I'll see you later, boys. Yeah, bye. Okay, bye. good bye. luck. <laughs> oh. Hey, ho, this is Wally the Squirrel from Omni, and we want to hear from you. So color us a picture, or send a picture of yourself and mail it to the JoJo and Choice Club, WSIU TV, Carbondale, Illinois, 62901. And we'll put what you send us on the show. That's the JoJo and Joyce Club, WSIU TV, Carbondale, Illinois, 62901. Oh, and make sure you don't draw any pictures of Chippy. Draw me instead. <laughs> <laughs>